सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ रेशनल नंबर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग रेशनल नंबर लेट्स बिगिन विद नेचुरल नंबर व्हाट आर द नेचुरल नंबर नेचुरल नंबर्स आर दोस नंबर व्हिच वी यूज टू काउंट द थिंग्स व्हिच आर अपीयर इन नेचर इन मैथमेटिक्स वी कैन डिफाइन natural numbers as a set of the numbers which start from 1 and goes up to infinity it is denoted by capital n now if we add zero in the set of natural numbers we get a new set of the number which is called whole number right here are many numbers like negative numbers if we add all the negative numbers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 up to dash to dash infinity in whole numbers 0 1 2 3 up to dash dash n so again we get a new set of the numbers which is called integer and integers is denoted by capital z if we take two consecutive integers like 0 and 1 or minus 2 and minus 3 so can we find any numbers which lie between these two consecutive numbers right so there are many even infinite numbers are lie between this two rational two integers okay so what are they as we are familiar with this numbers they may be 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 One by seven, etc. Even we can even include decimal numbers like zero point five, zero point three, etc. So we get a new set of the numbers which is called rational numbers. So what is a rational number? Rational numbers are those numbers which can write in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers. And another condition for rational number is that q is not equals to zero. Right? So any numbers. we can take as example of rational numbers minus 3 by 4 2 by 7 1 by 3 all these are rational numbers right if you take any two integers like 1 minus 3 can we say these are also rational numbers yes we can say that these are also rational number how because 1 can be write in the form of 1 by 1 And minus three can be write in the form of minus three by one. Here one upon one means both are integers. Here minus three and one are also integers. So we can say that all positive and all negative integers are rational numbers. Now we'll understand the properties of rational numbers. first of all we take closer properties of rational number
rational number four addition subtraction multiplication and division let me understand with the help of examples if we take two rational number like 1 by 7 2 by 7 if we add these two rational numbers we get a rational Again, if we take another rational number like 3 by 7 minus 4 by 7. So, result is minus 1 by 7. If we take again 2 rational numbers like 2 by 7 into 3 by 4. So, what do we get? We get 3 by 4. So, what we get conclusion is that if A and B are rational numbers, then the sum of this two rational number is also a rational number. If A and B are rational numbers, then difference of this two rational number is also a rational number. Similarly, the prod if A and B are rational number, then product of these two rational numbers is also rational. So, we get a conclusion that rational numbers are closed under addition, subtraction and multiplication. Let's we take again examples for division. If we divide 3 by 4 by 7 by 2. So, so, what do we get? 3 by 4. First of all, we convert division into the multiplication. And we get 3 by 40. Right? So, again we can say that if A and B are rational numbers, then division of these two rational numbers is also a rational numbers. But here is a complication. If we take rational numbers like 3 by 5 is divided by 0. So, this term is not defined in mathematics. So, we get a conclusion that rational numbers are not closed under division. <laughs>